Yeah, it's on Sunday. Okay, go. Hi everyone, this is Kurt out of Caddyshack Ranch again. We're here today to meet the Fluffies. Three of our tigers that have that nickname. They are Runty, Star, and Sprout. I'll look at them up there. Of course, Runty is our one white tiger. And they are sisters. Sprout coming over to say hi. That chuff is that friendly tiger greeting. So they're, they're happy kitties coming to say hello to us. So these girls are all eight years old. They came from a zoo in northern Wisconsin that closed down. The time they got here, they were about a year and a half old. Now, Runty, you can see, is the one white tiger out of their group. White tiger is a genetic mutation. It's uh, passed on like a recessive gene. So both parents carry that mutation. They got a chance of one or more coming out white. In this case, it was one out of the three. And the effect of the mutation is simply the absence of the color orange. Now, if you get a good look at Runty's face when she's looking at us, you'll see the one cool thing about white tigers today. White tigers have blue eyes. Hers are so light blue, they almost look white. Now, when these girls came here, it was January. I heard it was about five degrees in Wisconsin. Picked them up up there, brought them back. Of course, they have full winter coats on. So, somebody said they looked very fluffy. The nickname stuck, and we still refer to these girls as the Fluffies. Of course, you've seen Sprout and Runty so far. Their other sister, Star, is all the way down here, just relaxing next to the front fence. So we'll go down and say hi to Star. Buh. Hi. Now, if you get a look right at her forehead, you'll be able to see how she gets her name. Stripes make an almost perfect star pattern. What you looking at, Star? Now, as far as white tigers out in the wild, say a white tiger can happen naturally, but it would happen about once out of every 10,000 tiger births. With fewer than 4,000 tigers in the wild, that is not going to happen very often. So, you're probably never going to see another white tiger in the wild. In captivity, they breed whites to whites to make more whites. Enjoying their afternoon, just being nice and lazy. So they do have a nice in-ground pool here. The pool is the first in-ground pool that we did at Caddyshack Ranch. The girls enjoy it. They get in, play, splash around. Sometimes a boomer ball is floating in there. And that's a source of a lot of entertainment for them. If you've been watching our videos, you've gotten to see that really awesome pool with the water feature by Earthworks. This is where it all started. This was the first in-ground pool. We do have plans to upgrade this one at some point, but they still love it the way it is. So this is our little group of the Fluffies. Now they did come with three other tigers. In fact, the three that have that nice pull with the water feature that we call the Cheeseheads. But these are our little girls. And uh, as you can see, they're enjoying their afternoon. Got nice and warm here, but they got nice shade clouds going on. And if you want to look further into the enclosure, we've got a tree trunk back there. Cardboard scratcher is not going to work for these guys. They actually have a full tree trunk, and by all the lines on the side, you can tell they get a lot of use out of it. So that is one of their favorite scratching posts. Behind that up above on the screen, you can see that's a shade cloth. We have shade cloths in different areas of the enclosures. It gives them a little bit of shade. Different times during the day, it kind of rotates around. Now, three tigers, one enclosure. They do not share food well. Heck, my cats at home don't share food well. So, they have three separate platforms. There's two on the front fence here. There's one over on the side. Each of them has their own designated spot. They designated them. We do not choose. So they figure out which one works for each of them, and that's where they go each night. So in effect, they train us. I hope you've been enjoying these videos, watching us on Tuesday and Thursday. 
Also, of course, the night feedings that we do Friday and Saturday at 7 o'clock. This weekend, we have something special going on. We have an Easter egg hunt for the big cats. It is going to be Sunday, which is, of course, Easter Sunday at 1 p.m., and you're going to get to see the cats get their own Easter eggs that they get to open up for a fun treat inside. So hopefully you'll tune in for that. You'll get to see a few of us handing out paper mache Easter eggs to our big cats. Hope you enjoyed watching. Hope you tune in again. Have a good day.